In this video, I wanted to show you how to fix the dimensional files and prepare them for slicing and printing. First of all, let's load the same file as in the first video. We scale it to the same dimension. We use 4 inches length in a y direction. We open this. We already know this file doesn't have structural integrity. And we're going to start going for fixing it by going directly into the file fixing menu. When you click on the top, you notice that we're breaking this particular part into variety of the shell. And all together, we know it's 234 shells. Uh, some of the sh shells are good, some of the shells are bad. And we basically have a green light and the red light. And red light shows that shell is bad, green light shows that shell is, can be printed. The shells are organized by size, and size is a surface area. So the first shell is the largest shell by surface area. You can select and deselect every shell by uh, printing on it, uh, clicking on it in the menu, or you can select particular shell by clicking on, on a picture of it. You can look at the shell in a single shell mode when you selected it. You can do it in a real color or you can do it in any other color. You can also change the color of a shell. For example, when you select this shell, you can change color to any other color you wanted to. Um, and now let's see what we can do by fixing it. We have a fix all feature. And let's see what happens when we click fix all. It's relatively primitive algorithm that would probably get you to the part that can be printed, but it may not be what you want to. We're still working on the algorithm right now. As you can see, the molding and certain area of the card didn't really fix properly. So the best bet for you to reload the part again and start fixing it one by one. In this case, user have full control and can basically edit it and do anything user wants and correct the part in a way user comfortable with. So we click on it again and let's start fixing it one by one. Before we go into fixing, let me show you what we can do. You can do it, look at all the shell and look at the edges of all the shells. You can make everything translucent and look inside with and without edges. Uh, you can also have these options in a single shell view, which is sometimes very important when you're fixing one shell. And like I said, always get out by pressing on the right side of the mouse. Now let's go into fixing. As you can see, the largest shell needs to be fixed. And let's see what kind of problem it has. When we look inside, we can see light bouncing of inside and not from outside, which means that this shell created upside down. So we're going to flip it first and we select flip operation and apply it to display shell. Now we can see that light bounces from outer side and not from inner side. But do we know if it's fixed? In order to know if it's fixed or not, we want to show bed edges. And we can see that number of bed edges. And it's so related because this particular shell doesn't have any thickness. So let's add thickness right now. And at this point, as you seen in previous video, I want to add 1.5 millimeters, which is pretty reasonable though, to FDM part. And we apply it to display shell. Now, when I click OK, you can see that now we have zero bed edges, the shell is fixed, and we can continue on fixing it further. Now, when we done this, we need to figure out what else 
need to be fixed. We can display all edges, all cells view, good cells view, or a bad cells view. When we select bad cells view, we know exactly which cells need to be fixed. Now let's look careful at you know each individual cell. The next biggest cell shows 5 and 6. And actually the trick is we already know if you're gonna look at all cell view that these cells basically is not gonna show up on your print. And easiest way because they covered by the body of a car. So easiest way to or dealing with it, you can just remove those shells and they're not gonna show up on your print. When we've done this, we still have huge variety of shells that needs to be fixed. And most of those are really need to be fixed. So let's see what's going on and how we can fix it. Again, we show bad edges. And we can see that molding on a car basically requires patching holes. That it just, you know, basically surface. So let's add patch hole features and let's see what we can fix with it. We fix this, we fix this, 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 this. We have to. If you don't see the shell, it always makes sense to uh, make it a little bit bigger. So we actually fixed quite a few shells. Uh, let's see. Press again on bed edges and see how many bed shells is left. I can see there are some shells, fairly small ones, that we can either remove or fix. And you can always go back to full screen view. And we're going to select this. And again, we can probably do a patch hole. And let's look at bed edges again. So significantly less bed shells right now. So always finish your operation by clicking on the right side of the mouse. It gets you to select mode. Otherwise, you're using previous operation. And you can, by mistake, apply it to any other operation something you don't want to do now let's look at this taxi sign and see what is wrong with it it definitely doesn't have any thickness so we go to add thickness operation we don't have to add 1.5 millimeters if we choose to we can add another thickness so i want to add one millimeter to each particular one and now you can see this is going to become printable Again, don't forget, always get out of this previous operation, otherwise you may apply it to wrong shell. Go to the bed. And now we're left with really small number of shells that, has, that have real problem with it. And the problem with the shell, for example, let's select this bumper. They all pretty much have the same problems. Major problem that whoever created it created half of it and then made another half by creating mirror image. And this person created number of bed triangles inside of it. We can see 12 bed edges that need to be removed. And this is probably most difficult operation, but it requires some finesse. So right now we do activate clipping and we're trying to get as close to the bed shells as possible by clipping it inside. Now let's maximize this and try to position it as close to this parallel to the screen as possible. And I think I've done it. Now we want to look at the edges of the in this single shell mode. Now we know exactly which triangles we want to remove. So we go to delete triangle mode and we're going to start by deleting each particular one. 
and now you can see we have a zero bed edges. One thing to know, if you delete a wrong triangle, you can undelete triangle. An undelete triangle button right now is at the top. Another undelete button is undelete shell. If you do this, if you click on undelete shell, you may cause a crash. We're going to fix, we're going to reposition our interface a little bit differently. So you won't be able to do this. Just want to make sure. And when you finish, as usual, just click on the right side of the mouse. Now you can reset clipping. You can look at the shell in a full view. You don't have to do it, make it translucent or display edges. And you can see right now the shell is fixed. So right now, if we want to go to a full view and this is the one that we fixed. If we show bad edges, it's going to disappear. And you can do it one by one by one and eventually fix a file. It's not easy, but it can be done. I already went through all of this and going to show you the final result. Let's look at all shells. We don't want to We, we can save this part as an STL file or we can slice it immediately. In order to do this, first of all, always finish the operation. Always get out of file fixing mode. This is really critical. Right now, you can either save it, you export it as a STL file. In the next future version, you would be able to save it as a file to part file, or you can start slicing it. Uh, I'm going to load fixed file first before slicing it, just to show you a right way of doing this. In order to do this, I close my file and I open my Taximax fixed. It's already scaled in the right dimension and all I have to do just slice it. I already pre-slice it. Slicing on this particular computer takes about one minute about and 20 seconds. And after you do this, you can look at the slicing. You can look what you're going to print in 3D view or you can look at it in a top view. And right now, as you can see, every file is going to have structural integrity and it's probably going to be going to print fine. 